we're going to talk a little bit about the hardware that's involved in generating all of these images. And <clears throat> I mean, truth be told, we could spend like more than the entire week talking about the, the hardware components of the MR system. But what I want, I really have basically two goals. One is to give you an overview of what the components are. And the other one is to give you a little bit more detailed information about a couple of those subcomponents, uh, specifically the gradient magnetic fields, the receiver, which is up here, and a little bit about receiver coil technology, because those things really play directly into uh, ways in which you need to understand the system in order to be able to interact with it, uh, choose types of imaging uh, appropriately, and, and set your parameters appropriately. So the, this looks a little complicated, but basically there are really only a few key components that we need to be aware of. One is the basic main magnetic field, which is this tube in here. So this generates our B0 static magnetic field. The patient goes in there and to generate the signal, we need our radio frequency system, which is basically this thing called an RF amplifier, which generates current that is put into a coil, right? just a loop of wire. And by putting that, it's essentially an electromagnet. We'll talk about that in a little bit more detail. There is the gradient system, which is these gradient amplifiers, and then the gradient coils that are inside the bore of the magnet. There's the receiver coil, and then what we call the receiver, or analog to digital computer. So those are really the key components. Uh, the static magnetic field, the RF system, the gradient system, and the receiver. And then there is a centralized computer with a bunch of specialized components that basically deals with all of these pieces to make sure that they do what they're supposed to do, and especially that they do it with extremely precise timing. Uh, in fact, one of the most important roles of this console computer is to set up the imaging that we're about to do and make, sh and make sure that it is done with as precise a timing as possible.